Gender purity. Um, we, we actually don't stand in a great place. I think we have tremendous intentions. I think we have many leaders and economies, hearts and souls caring about gender parity. But I think what um, I know, what our When Women Thrive research shows, is that the pace at which we are focusing on gender parity will actually never result in gender parity. So uh, one of the key themes uh, for us for International Women's Day is it's time to be disruptive. Um, the only way we'll hit gender parity is if we fundamentally change the way we hire, retain, and promote women. And it's going to take a global village to think very differently about disruptive change. So when we think about accomplishments and we think about why should we not give up hope, you know, this was certainly a year where we saw a lot of hope. Um, we saw a tremendous amount of hope, um, and, and that hope manifested itself through a really relentless focus on legislation. Um, you know, great, um, great legislative bodies around the world are tired of waiting for women to be represented, so they're legislating that women should be represented. Um, we are really hopeful that great companies um, with great leaders and great managers and great women uh, have made this a really strategic priority. Um, and we're really hopeful that companies that put the focus on this the way they do on customers and other colleagues are going to make tremendous progress. So we're not giving up hope, we're just saying we're impatient. So, you know, and look, as our, our When Women Thrive research shows, you can start in many places, but I really do think um, um, we will all thrive when men and women together really believe that, that work and society will be better. So I think one of the big things Mercer has learned this year is that it's up to each and every woman to engage a male colleague to make sure they believe that it's not as if the woman wins and the male colleague doesn't, but that together we'll have better talent, we'll have better customer satisfaction, we'll have better growth. So absolutely engaging men I think is critical, but personally being involved, what is so powerful to me looking at women at Mercer is the number of women at Mercer who personally are invested in helping other women. So to me, the second is, are you sponsoring and are you bringing forward other women?